Good day, Rams. How you guys doing? You know we here for your July monthly reading. Any placement of Aries, you know how that goes. Sun, Moon, Mercury, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, North Node, and South Node placements. And anybody who would like to be nosy, they in here. I promise you. Yes. Thank you guys for all the continued support. Bookings, like, shares, comments, subscribes, recommendations, tips, all that. I really appreciate it. To book a personal tarot reading with me, my pricing and my content information will be in the description box down below. All of the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. Make sure that you are liking the video and subscribing to the channel because it does keep me in rotation. All right? So... What we're going to do, Aries, we're going to pull three zodiac signs to see what placements you guys might have, who could be around you during this time, and who could be being nosy, girl, okay? And see what other readings. There could be some messages for you because I've been put up, uh, bleh, I've been picking up on that as of recently. And then we're going to pull one monthly Oracle message card for you guys and do a spread for you, okay? Mm -hmm. So, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit guys, what zodiac signs can resonate with this Aries reading for the month of July? in the year 2022 okay we got leo showing up okay spirit guys what zodiac signs can resonate with this with this aries reading for the month of july cancer what zodiac signs can resonate with this aries reading for the month of july in the year 2022 got booty up <clears throat> sagittarius <coughs> Sagittarius. Oh, okay. So some of y'all either want to speak to a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius wants to speak to you, but somebody, you know, cat got your tongue. I don't know. It could be a Leo too. So we got Capricorn. A Capricorn is being nosy during this time. Aries could be watching you. Let's move on. So we got Leo, Cancer, and Sagittarius. Okay. Sun and moon for everybody. Sun and Moon and Leo, Sun and Moon and Cancer, and Sun and Moon and Sagittarius. You guys could have these placements. These uh, zodiac signs could be around you during this time. And there could also be some messages for you in the Leo, Cancer, and Sagittarius reading. I'm doing Sagittarius later on the day, um, but I haven't done Leo and Cancer yet. They pop up, Peak Reasons is up, though, if you want to check them out. All right, let's go ahead and pour this monthly Oracle message card, girl. Spirit guys. What's going on with the Aries Zodiac for the month of July in the year 2022? Okay, Aries, I, I feel like you, you, you kind of vibing right now. Like, I don't really see you in this, like, um, in the way type energy. And I kind of feel like you could just be like, I don't know, you just like this to a certain situation where it's like, you know, I don't want to say fuck it, but it's just like you don't, I'm hearing you don't care for something anymore. Like something here doesn't hold as much interest as it did before. So here guys, what's going on with the Aries Zodiac? Nah, booty up. For the month of July in the year 2022. You. <laughs> you. Karmic feminine. Now I'm not gonna put it down because I ain't plucked that. That hole just jumped out. All right, so <laughs> there could be a karmic feminine in this reading during this time in the building, girl. All right, some y'all need to be careful about this individual around you, a karmic feminine. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Aries yet for the month of July in the year 2022? Yeah, Aries, it could be a karmic feminine around you during this time. Ooh, I ain't seen this car in a while. Dreams, fantasies, and divinity. So this is a bunch of spiritual shit happening to you in the month of July. Whenever I see this car, some of you guys realize it's, it's, it becomes very apparent that there's, there's definitely some sort of intense spiritual influence around you or about you. Some of y'all, this is in regards to your dreams. It's in regards to certain things that happen around you, how they happen around you. It's just a lot of celestial shit, all right? Pop me. I need one to pop, but it won't. Don't stop. Pop that, don't. What the fuck is going on? I'll pop later. Whatever. It'll pop on its own. Pisces had this to save money. So Aries, okay, it is on the bottom of the deck. So I would, you know, Pisces, it was more of um, 
like it, it was kind of like something that they really need to be in since it's on the bottom of the deck for you i just feel like aries while while you handling whenever they whatever it is you're handling during this time you need to make sure that you're putting some money aside all right um this for me is like any sort of you know check or money that you get in put a little bit on the side a dollar two dollar put five on it girl it ain't gotta be no crazy amount just put something back because it adds up is what i'm hearing all right okay aries you about to give me a spiritual reading all right girl let me see what you like going on it's on the bottom oh Four of Swords. I don't like her. I don't like her like this. Aries, you need to be careful about laziness during this time. You sleeping in too late. Life is on the uh, you on the couch and life is passing you by. Oh look, it was a red cardinal on the tree in front of my crib, well in front of my uh, patio. All right, but yeah, some of y'all need to be careful about you know what I'm saying. Uh, just laying down whenever you know you got shit to do. Everybody in this car just laying down. Ain't nobody doing nothing. I don't know. Some of y'all could be a job that's like this. I don't know, maybe you work for a call center or, you know, maybe your job is just real fucking boring, dude. All right, but some of you have to be careful about being lazy in the month of July, all right? Eight of Cups and the Four of Swords. Some of y'all might be wanting to uh, walk away from somebody like th that's like this. Maybe you have or maybe you want to. It could be a water sign or an air sign, specifically a Pisces or a Cancer or a Libra. All right. But some of y'all might want to, you know, walk away from somebody where it's like you don't do nothing. Or Aries, somebody feel this way about you. Because technically this ain't really your energy. None of these cards is your energy. But some of y'all with the Eight of Cups and the Four of Swords need to be aware whenever you're being urged to break out of a certain mundane energy. You're doing the same thing every day, like you real routine around this hoe, or you are lazy, okay? You're not doing what you're supposed to be doing or doing what you could be doing, girl. I'm your homegirl. I'm just being real with you, all right? Don't get upset. If you're getting upset, these bullets might be hitting you, girl, okay? Spirit guys, what's going on with the Aries Zodiac for the month of July in the year 2022? Page of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. So, some of y'all, there's some outdated way of doing things that uh, I feel like with the Magician card, you need to make over. All right, this ain't even you walking away from it. This ain't you releasing it. Some of y'all, I get the energy of need to like restructure something, reorganize something. All right, I don't know. Some of y'all got kids, page of pentacles and the six of cups, and it's just you picking up at your kids every single day. I remember when my brother was like, you know, at the age, I think he was like, what, five or six? And they always used to have like those basket of toys and just dump it out. Probably only play with one or two of the toys and all the other toys just be scattered and shit like that. Some of y'all got that type of situation going on as well. It's like you having to constantly pick at the, a kid or kids, uh, all right? Somebody here not doing that? Anyway. I just sort of feel like with the Page of Pentacles out here, some of y'all could be being called to be grounded in regards to Knight of Swords, Six of Cups, and the Magician cards. Some sort of like way of doing things with the knight of swords it could be very scattered it could be very unorganized some of y'all just might need to get better organized all right you see how i don't know if y'all can tell but you know it's like the elves is you know putting the acorns in the cart they all lined up and shit yeah there's more acorns over here some of y'all i feel like <laughs> some of y'all got your kids picking up after themselves yes <laughs> some of y'all got kids that pick up after themselves okay But yeah, it could be a need for you to like restructure your day-to-day -day schedule during this time, Aries, or whatever it is that you do. Some of y'all with the Page of Pentacles, this is some sort of like opportunity venture. It could be a business. This is something here that I feel like is a like some a seed of something. It's a seed. All right, I told y'all, some of y'all this could be children. So with the Knight of Swords, Six of Cups, and Magician, there's some sort of past way of doing things you can't be doing no more. All right. That was unorganized anyway. Oh, girl. So, here, guys, what's going on with the Aries Zodiac for the month of July? Okay. 
Seven of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. Why wait? Do it today. Some of y'all need to be careful about waiting for something to happen and just do it. Okay, because the Magician card came out. That is the initiate, initiation card, the act of doing so. It's the make it happen. Captain, all right? So y'all need to be careful about when you're just sitting there waiting for something to happen, whereas you could be doing something. Two of Pentacles. Some of y'all might be uh, cooking at the house a lot more during the time. Mr. or Mrs. Organic. And whenever I say that, that could just be you, you know. Um, I don't know. Some of y'all could grow your own fruits and vegetables. You could have a little a garden or a plant, all right? Um, but some of y'all, this could just be you eating a lot healthier during this time. Some of y'all, there's someone here outside your energy who I feel like, it give me the energy of playing. <laughs> so like somebody here playing with you, Eerie. Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Like somebody here might be, oh shit. Somebody here could be waiting on you to say something to them. Like two of Pentacles pour into them. It's like somebody here could be waiting to hear back from you. Somebody here could be waiting for you to ask them out. Somebody here is waiting on you, Aries. I see it here. It could be an earth or a water sign. Because you got the... the Page of Pentacles, you got the offer, the opportunity, the, the seed, as they would say. Somebody here is waiting on something like that from you. A invitation, a conversation. So, here, yeah, guys, what's going on with the Aries Zodiac for the month of July in the year 2022? Okay, he's got the whole world in his hands. Okay, so we got the world card coming out. So some of you guys might have Saturn in Aries or Saturn in the first house. Nine of Pentacles. I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. So a lot of you guys are very independent, very self-sufficient. All right, Page of Pentacles, world card, Nine of Pentacles. There's been a noticeable growth about you. All right, some of y'all, you know, I, who, who watching you? Because I'm like, this is like a child, you know, from a child to a young woman or a young man. Hi, man. Oh, am I talking to you? All right, Emperor card. But there's a woman in this Emperor card. So some of y'all might be in your divine masculine energy during this time. Your masculine energy more. Nine of Pentacles whenever it comes to your independence because you the one man band. You're going to make it happen. So some of y'all have really, you know, done a lot of growing in regards to Page of Pentacles or certain uh, opportunity, a certain venture, a certain plan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Some of y'all, there's been noticeable growth. All right. Mm -hmm. Nine of Pentacles, Emperor card, lovers with the Ace of Wands. I see an Aries man or woman choosing to be single, choosing to be a single parent. Some of y'all are living the single parent life right now. I don't know what that means. Okay. But I see some of you guys have chosen to be single, to focus on your career, to focus on your job, your business, all right? It's like some of y'all chose to be in this single energy to focus on you. Or some of y'all are choosing. It's like with the Page of Pentacles and the World card. Now that I have been shown where I can go, where I'm headed, it's a wrap, okay? <laughs> I'll catch y'all later, right? Yeah, Ace of Wands and the Four of Swords. Yeah, I'm hearing some of y'all like, I don't want to live like that no more. I don't want to live this. I don't know. Some of y'all might be deciding to quit a job and really go into business for yourself for entrepreneurship, okay? Um, some of y'all might be deciding to commit to a certain career path. I just feel like with the Four of Swords and the Ace of Wands, some of y'all like, mm -mm, I don't want to be in that space again. I don't want to be uh, born. I don't want to be like everybody else. World card, you see how she the only one glowing in this gloomy world, okay? Some of y'all, like, I want to experience new things. I want to go new places. You're choosing new, new, okay? I ain't talking about ATL. But some of y'all are choosing to be in a new energy. It's like you're giving that a chance. Like, with the Page of Pentacles and the World card, this for me is like somebody here could be going back to school. Somebody could be, um, but that's the energy that I get. It's like, you know, your first day of school, your first day of being on this new path, this new journey, this new season cycle. So, here, guys, what's going on with the Aries Oh yeah, for the month of July in the year 2022? Queen of Pentacles with the Page of Cups. Some of y'all could have a child with an earth sign individual, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but Capricorn is kind of heavy here. Uh, some of y'all could have a child with an earth sign that I feel like 
with the world card is just like if we've reached a climax okay something here has reached finality with someone aries you could have a child with this person or this could be you know page of pentacles just time effort energy that you invested into that you invested in in this person yeah some of y'all is definitely an earth sign king of pentacles and queen of pentacles is out here page of cups king of pentacles with the three of pentacles Some of y'all are deciding to take a certain dream of yours and really, you know, three of pentacles, try to build that. It's like there's a certain idea, venture, concept, plan that you like, you know what? I'm going to try it. Some of y'all, I'm seeing this with like landscaping, anything that has to do with art, anything that has to do with media. All right. It's like, you know what, girl? I'm going to go after that. Like, I'm going to really try. Some of y'all are being urged to do this. All right. Or some of y'all are already in this energy. So where it's like, I'm going to give it a shot. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Aries Zodiac for the month of July in the year 2022? Excuse you. Excuse you. Four of Pentacles in reverse. So four of Pentacles can be about loosening your grip on something during this time. Okay. Yeah, some of y'all, there's some sort of, there's some earth sign that I feel like you're no longer holding on to. All right. It's like, <laughs> it's like you're, you're deciding to, you know, let someone go. I told you it could be a Capricorn, Taurus or a Virgo, but heavy Capricorn energy is here, but now it's, there's Taurus. Okay. There's someone here that you guys decide to either release or some of y'all are being urged to release someone. This could be, um, nah, that's the energy that I get. Some of y'all deciding to release someone, not holding on to someone. Now, this could also be some of y'all, some of y'all need to be careful about not withdrawing. Nah, it's not that. Not withholding yourself from a certain situation that with the world card has reached. Like a, this is like learning a lesson in regards to something and you not staying away from it when you already learned your lesson. Does that make sense? Page of Swords, Four of Wands, and the Chariot card. Either some of y'all are looking up uh, travel plans, okay? Researching, uh, researching for travel plans. Some of y'all could be looking for a new home, a new car. Aries, somebody trying to figure out where you live. <laughs> Page of Swords, Four of Wands, and the Chariot card. Somebody here is trying to figure out where you live, Aries, okay? Somebody here couldn't know where you live, and they doing, you know, riding past your house and shit. Page of Swords, Four of Wands, and the Chariot card. It's out here, girl. It could be an earth, air, or a water sign. It's you, you girl. Like, what is this? Did I say some of y'all could be looking for a car? Some of y'all could be looking for a car, could be looking for a home, could re uh, be researching one of those things, or this is you either researching certain travel plans or somebody trying to figure out where you live or knows where you live and they driving past your house. Spirit guys, somebody here got the authority driving past their house. The authorities. Here, right, guys, what's going on with the Aries Zodiac for the month of July in the year 2022? Not our business. Yeah, the authorities, okay? Justice card with the King of Wands. I mean, oh, yeah. Some of y'all need to do better with saving money. Some of y'all might need to do better with saving money. Because this four of pentacles upright will most definitely be saving money. Okay, so I'm going to be careful about not doing that. All right, justice card is out here. It's like contributing money to something. So I'm going to be careful about not contributing money to something during this time. I 
I see a lot of the men, Eight of Pentacles in the Judgment card, really focusing on work, career, business, their goals, their aspirations. World card and the Justice card. It's like realizing like if I want to be here, I'm going to have to do this. Four of Pentacles in reverse, meaning that I might have to release this. I might have to stop restraining myself. Some of y'all just realizing Four of Pentacles in reverse with the Justice card. I have to open myself up to new possibilities, new opportunities, new ventures. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Aries Zodiac for the month of July in the year 2022? Six of Swords with the Two of Swords. Yeah, a lot of you guys are realizing that with the Justice card and the Six of Swords, you're having to make a certain transition, move on from something. Like I said, just uh, becoming more open to different things in your life during this time. Yeah, two of swords, nine of cups, and the five of pentacles. A lot of you guys are in this energy is to where it's like, am I just going to be satisfied with the five of pentacles, feeling lost, feeling like I don't have enough, not having anything? Or am I going to six of wands and the seven of pentacles really try to like achieve something for myself? This could be just going after like certain aspirations and the goals that you have. And maybe, you know what I mean, something happened to where you just kind of, you know, got off that path, right? Realizing that not. Nah, I need to get back to that. You saw that? Damn. Some of y'all dropping a friend, okay? Three of Cups fell out on the floor. Some of y'all are dropping a friend. Or some of y'all are dropping a friend group. Like certain people that you be around. Some of y'all are, you know, not dealing with them anymore. Some of y'all might be deciding to drop a cancer. Because Three of Cups is out here. That shit just flew out shit. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Aries Zodiac for the month of July in the year 2022? Oh, girl. Okay, so we got the Five of Pentacles showing up, Aries. So, yeah. Page of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles in reverse with the Five of Pentacles upright. Oh. Somebody here need to be careful about not, you know, like not practicing good money management. Because five plus four equals nine of pentacles. So some, somebody here is capable of being independent, capable of being self-sufficient. But this person might not have good money management. Four of pentacles. They don't know when to uh, restrain themselves in regards to spending money, what they spend their money on. Saving money in Jenny Rao. Justice card. Some of y'all might face a certain situation like that with the world card. It's like, well, this this happens whenever you don't have like it's like um let's say your tire. I hope I ain't predicting nothing, but let's say your tire blow out on the interstate and now you need money for towing. You got you know if you ain't got AAA or some shit, I'm pretty sure you still got to pay something. All right, and you know you ain't got the money for it. Now you got to leave the car there. And <laughs> I got your car there, or you get your shit towed, they tow it, and now you know your shit in you know storage, and you know every day you gotta pay for storage. Uh like basically going through some sort of like hardship and experiencing, you know, kind of like the booty end of it. And it's like, see, this is what happens when you don't do this. Okay, this is what happens when you do this. You know, some of y'all might experience something like that. I see some Aries. Okay, I see some uh, some Rams out here. Three of Swords, Temperance, and the Tower card. Someone's peace gets interrupted. Okay, it's like Temperance card. Somebody here could have been in like La La Land, or just you know, uh, it's like somebody bubble get popped. I don't know. Uh, something here unexpected happens. Like I said, I hope I wasn't predicting nothing for nobody with that, with the whole tire situation. All right, somebody here could experience this in, right now I was about to say, it, in love. Two of cups, nine of swords, three of swords, temperance, and the tower card. Yeah, somebody here might, like, go through some sort of, like, falling out with a certain lover and or spouse. I see this happening with an air or a water sign. 
Spirit guys, what's going on with the Aries Zodiac for the month of July in the year 2022? Knight of Pentacles. I've been working. I've been working. <laughs> I don't know why that's came to mind. Knight of Pentacles with the two of swords on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Money might not be all that for some of y'all Aries in the month of um July. Money might not be all of that. And I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, you're having to be very resourceful during this time. Okay. Some of y'all with five plus four equals nine of pentacles. This is giving me the energy of like you just got to be responsible. You know, you got to pay your rent. You got to pay your light, but you got to do your car payment, insurance and all that, mortgage, all that. And it's like, you know, you working with a little bit less money, but it's like you realizing like, yeah, maybe I should have put back some more money just in case something like this happened. But because the tower card came out, I feel like something unexpected happens. I do it like you got to get something repaired or some unexpected expense pops up. And you got to take care of that. But with the justice card in, uh, in the world card, it's like having to go through some sort of hardship um, in order for you to learn a certain lesson in regards to how you moving with a certain situation. Spirit guys, last card. What's going on with the Aries Zodiac for the month of July in the year 2022? It's like there's a reason why something happens because the dreams, fantasies, and divinity card is out here. Queen of Swords with the Ten of Swords. Damn. Oh. I, yeah. I see some of y'all could have already separated from someone or in the midst of separating from, from someone or realizing that you want to separate from someone could most definitely be an earth or an air sign gemini libra aquarius taurus virgo capricorn taurus is very strong out here yeah i see some of y'all just deciding that it might be best for you to kind of like separate from certain individuals justice card and the world card because you learned a certain lesson or it's like with the five of pentacles. I'm going to be honest. Some of y'all could be realizing who carries the spirit of lack. All right. And you just kind of like don't want to be around that. I ain't talking about nobody like financial status either. These are just, you know, people who don't know where they're going. And I mean, we all go through that at some point in time. But, you know. You still got to find yourself, okay? I'm not saying, you know, isolate those people, but, you know, they got to find themselves. And until they do that, you can't really click with somebody who doesn't, you know, know where they at. Because, you, you, you know, you, you, you might be on that path, but you might be moving towards that, all right? I just feel like some of you guys have decided to disassociate from certain people that, like I said, just don't know where they're going. And that could become a clash of energies if you know where you're going, Aries, what the hell was this? I was not expecting this sort of reading, okay? Also, your energy not really out here. So I feel like this could be somebody here outside your energy going through this, okay? Going through this uh, energy of feeling lost, feeling, girl, what? I'm hearing like directionless. I'm like, girl, that's lost, okay? <laughs> Feeling like they don't know what the fuck is going on in their life during this time. An air sign, an earth sign. But with the justice card and the world card out here, this is, just, this is them just having to sleep in that bed. All right, Aries. That was your July monthly reading. Any place where the Aries, Saturn and Aries is out here or Saturn in the first house. All right. Like the video, leave a comment telling me if this resonated with you in any way. Subscribe to the channel. My pricing and my contact information will be in the description box down below. All other info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. All right. I'm going to talk to you later. This was a different type of reading, Aries. It got a little deep on us. Okay. I'm going to talk to you later. Bye.